quarterback. He got his reps in a week ago, over 400 yards through the air. It's the Colts and the Jags, next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State at TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. Today we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7 between the Indianapolis Colts and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Inside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And CD, you look at our featured team here. They know coming in, they've got to be at their best because they're facing one of the better overall defenses in the NFL. And this is not one of the better offenses around in terms of running the football. So they understand that they're going to be put to the test a bit. The big plays in the run game, they haven't been there of late. So maybe that means we'll see them shake things up a little bit. Some RPOs, some touch passes, some draw plays, anything to try and get a little bit of momentum. team's first sack of the game. Protection was going to spring a leak on the first play from scrimmage. Got after him right out of the gate. So an early wake-up call there leads to a quick second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Lawrence. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Well, partner, guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. They get 12 yards back, but it still leads to a fourth and long. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they'll be led out by their quarterback now in his third season in the league. And what a first half of the season he's had, leading the NFL in passing yards to this point. He's been a tough man to slow down. So this defense certainly has its work cut out for him. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throws 
Throwing to start the drive. Robinson. So the completion good for seven there. And it's second down. Looking to throw. Robinson. That's complete to Pierce. They'll wind up getting just a yard. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. Back to throw. Robinson. He finds Pierce. It's complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that going to be taken in by Ashton Doolin. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. To throw is Robinson. Off play action. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Again, he'll drop to throw. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. Indeed good. And the Colts hit the scoreboard first. It's 3-0. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks will tell us end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And he'll take it out past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So time to see Jacksonville get on offense for the second time here in this game. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out with a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play the best we can. We almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely swords down that way. We get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. On first down, Lawrence. And it's complete, right back to Ridley. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. And one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now Lawrence. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Lawrence. Caught on the right side by Jones. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Lawrence. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. On play action, Lawrence. He'll drop this one off with ETN. Call it a gain of a yard, and that'll bring up second down. A 
shotgun snap and again the ETN. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down at the Colts 23. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Now Lawrence. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. Sly able to put this one through. And now it ties at 23. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, the only one to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine play drives pay dividends later with another nine play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down the defense. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. And they are trying to create some separation within the division. And look, CD, I know that this is still the first half of the season, but this is a big matchup no matter where it falls because these are the top two teams right now in that division. And if you can build a bit of a cushion as you head towards the second part of the season, that allows you to survive the expected injuries, potential upset losses, all of those things, and still be in good shape. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Here's Robinson on third and two. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Thomas. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they get five there on third and two. The Colts at five and one here in this early part of the season. And they're coming on a pretty good run. Here, winners of three straight. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Now a play fake here on first down. He's got his man, it's Pierce. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and that's going to bring up second down. They'll look to throw again. And it's off the mark, incomplete. They have the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Back to throw again. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact off the ball, three, and it's fourth down. And Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. And now out come the Jags. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the draw. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you think you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't want to see the field goal kicker try on the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. The numbers on the ground for ETM last week. 17 carries, 81 yards. Oh, that's a very nice winning streak that they're on, and they've really seen this offense come into its own as a unit. And one of the keys is that the ground game has been established, and it's keeping the defense honest near the line of scrimmage. Sometimes that leaves a huge game for him. Other times, he plays a complimentary role to someone else. But however it's getting done, they're winning week after week. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Lawrence will throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. On second down, a run with ETN. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it, but a lot of it is just being after his back there. Making the defense think it's going to be a pass.
On first down, right back to ETN. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. From midfield now, Lawrence. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. They'll run with ETN and trying to shake free, but ETN cannot. The defense will stop him short. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Here's Logan Cook now to punt this one away. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The Colts getting another possession here on offense. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it would be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and throw something that could put your team in some jeopardy? The numbers for him from a week ago. Nine catches, 94 yards. And I'd certainly expect them to use him quite a bit because he runs excellent routes, has good hands, and knows how to get open. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. How about that call handed to the big guy in that situation? Normally, you think of him as a real short yardage runner, but in this case, they trust him to get a few more yards than that. I remember an old New York Giants quarterback, a Super Bowl winning quarterback, telling me he loves offense coordinators who call the plays with a little bit of abandon. First down, he'll drop the throw. Hits his target to tight end, Mo Alley-Cox. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. A give to the fullback on the dive. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. They definitely established a rhythm on this drive, moving the ball quite well. And big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. Robinson now, throwing on first down. And his throw is incomplete. So second down and 10, once again, they'll go from the 40. They'll run, this is Jonathan Taylor. And he stopped immediately there. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive, as this is third and 10. Looking to throw, Robinson. To the sideline, he's got the catch, and he kept the feet in bounds. Well done. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him the first down. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time off strike. Very nice route. These two teams all tied after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Colts in possession. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. On the give, this is their fullback. There's Robinson showing the flash. That's good for an Indianapolis first down on a gain of 10. I know a lot of times we like to put players in certain boxes. He does this and he does that. But this guy, he can do a little bit of everything. He's not just a lead blocker or a guy who protects the passer. Handing the ball, he might want to get out of the way. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Back to throw, Robinson. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20-yard line. 
Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Hindsight is 20-20, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Looking to throw. Robinson. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. The offense on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and forever. A throw there, but that's going to wind up in good This kick is good. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals at 6-3. to three. So we're trading first-half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. We've got a 6-3 game. Yeah, and I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them. Both of them hoping to keep it the field goals and not give up big touchdowns. Travis Etienne of the Jags offense set to take over again here. Those are his numbers through roughly the first half of the season, and given that, you'd have to think he's on pace for a 1,000-yard campaign. Steady as he goes, steady goes the offense, but you know what else is happening, too, because they are a team now recognized with the ability to run the football. You've got to be able to throw it better now, right? Better throwing lanes, better opportunities for the guys downfield, maybe more one-on-one -on -one coverage, which you should be able to beat easier. Yeah, he's, st he's establishing not just a tone, but an identity for his team. And that's a discussion we had a couple days ago in the team meetings talking about this running game, opening up the passing game. We'll see if that continues to happen. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Now, well, hang on here a second. Looks like a Jaguar in some obvious discomfort from that last play. Here's Logan Cook now. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. So here are the Colts to take over. They're on a three-game winning streak and right now looking good in this one as well. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Robinson on first down. And that's into the hands of Mo Alley Cox, the tight end. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right in the yard. They've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Seven yards there and a first down. Brandon, you know we talk about having wrinkles in a game plan? That was a fold right there. How about that play? Being able to change things up. You think anyone else on the team's going to get the ball? And in that situation, they surprise everyone and give it to their big guy. Now a throw here, hauled in. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. On second down, it's Taylor. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Back to throw. Robinson to the right side and complete to Thomas. And he'll be brought down at the 27. And now a carry here for their fullback. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Let's face it, you always want a team full of guys who can get your first downs and big plays of all styles. But you've got to have a big man. You can just turn and hand it to, and he can be dependable in picking up first downs. First and 10, Taylor now. 
And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Looking to throw, Robinson. Escaping the pressure right. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. It's Pierce with a catch along the sideline. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they worked out through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. After a play like that, it should be congratulations to him. Because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Back to throw. Robinson. His pass caught at the four. Touchdown. A great play there. His fourth touchdown of the year. As his guys are able to extend their lead. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. They're in a 13-3 hole here now as they come up on first down. They'll start on the ground, ETN. 43 yards rushing for him now to this point. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Looking to throw, Lawrence. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. Now Lawrence on first down. He targets Ingram for another grab. Three yards remain for second down. Here's Lawrence to throw. And this would take it in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. And Ingram holds it in. And he will have the Jaguars first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On first and 10, it's ETN. He'll take it past the 40 to the 41, second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Another toe for ETN. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Now Lawrence to throw. Now he lets it go deep for Kirk. And unable to connect. for the fourth time today. And that is very well done there as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Down to inside the five-yard line. 
absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get him down inside the 15, inside the 5. Superb. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He threw a touchdown pass last time they had it. And he'll look to get him in the end zone again here as they start with the first down. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. And he's going to go down right near the goal line. The officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. So that time, Charles, a quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. And this came from the interior of the defensive line. And these guys, they're normally anchors of that spot. And they don't often get clear shots at the quarterback. But in this case, he got past the center and the guard in no time and got there to make the play. They'll run it here. This is their fullback getting the carry. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout. So as they take it over, we step aside. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he's able to get it out quickly, and this is not a bad kick here. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. As the offense returns, let's take a look at running back Travis Etienne. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not to any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that part. And looking for Kirk, but this pass is intercepted. Picked up by Kenny Moore. And the Colts are going to take over here up near the 40. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Back to the air on second down. Robinson. That one to the sideline and a nice catch there. He stays in bounds, but a penalty marker is down as well. <laughs> So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Looking to throw, Robinson over the middle, hauled in by Pierce. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Now Robinson looking to throw on second down, flushed out right. And he's going to get this down near the 25. And now a stoppage, and looks like we have a Colt who was shaken up on that last play. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. To throw is Robinson on first and ten. And this one complete to Doolin. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Throw over the middle, going to be caught here by Mo Alley-Cox. Second and three with the ball sitting on the five. Touchdown, Colts! A five-yard touchdown. And the Colts will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. McLaughlin for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. 
A drive that time of six plays. And the result for the Colts is a touchdown. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Jaguars ready to go on offense for the final time in this first half. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish with the half and get on out and talk about it. That'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. <laughs> Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They're not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough, because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes and they're getting out. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we now go downstate to Orlando and check in with Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as some of the division races 